Hello everybody and welcome to your 46 C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about exceptions. Now uh, at first glance and even maybe after this tutorial, even after I explain it, you might still not see the purpose of exceptions but they could uh, be seen as very useful uh, in programs. Now say you were designing something for say NASA or something like that and you're designing something for the space shuttle. Now you know that there's no room for error on that. If there's one ounce of errors, you can kill everybody. You can endanger everybody on the shuttle, right? So you have to make sure everything works right. And if something goes wrong, you have to have a way in order to handle what happens with, with, um, when something goes wrong. And you might be saying, okay, well, we can use return statements or we can use if statements in order to do certain things like that, right? But the thing is that if statements and return statements can fail, and sometimes when you're running a program, you run it, try and run an if statement and it doesn't run properly, then it will stop the program and then it will do a bunch of uh, whatever, it will crash the program and so on and so forth. We don't, uh, if a program was to crash, if the, the computer or whatever on a space shuttle crashed, then you're dead right so there's no room for error so you have to specify certain things that happen in certain situations and and how to handle certain situations so let what we're gonna do now uh, just to demonstrate this is that we're gonna have uh, num2 num1 is equal to 2 and num2 is equal to 0 okay now to do an exception we have a try so what this does is it tries this out to see if it actually works okay so we're gonna say that if num is equal to zero then we're gonna throw an exception and we can just throw anything any value right and in this case we're just gonna be dividing num1 by num2 so we know that we can't divide by zero so this is gonna be our exception so when you throw something, you have to catch it, right? Just like if you play baseball, you throw baseball, you catch it. And when we, whatever value we throw, we catch it and put it in this variable that we specify in our catch block, okay? So when we throw it, we throw 20, x is gonna catch the value 20. So therefore, our x is gonna be equal to 20, okay? And in our catch block, that's what happens, that's what we do in case of an error, right? Now, one thing about an exception is that an exception cannot be ignored, right? So if anything was to go wrong, it would, uh, if all else fails, an exception will not fail, okay? So this is why we use exceptions in critical situations, like if you're modifying a critical variable, you might want to put in an exception in case the critical variable fails, then you know how to handle it after. So anyways, you know whenever you're running up, you run into something, you run to error and it'll say error and it'll spit out an error number or something and then it'll say like error 22 did not do this or whatever. Well, we can do this with uh, try and catch blocks. So we could use a C out, and we I know you could do this with if statements as well, but uh, try and catch blocks handles it better, I believe. So we could say error space x, uh, and we'll put uh, you cannot divide by zero we will change the denominator to 1 or something like that so then after we display that uh whatever we display that we'll just we'll change our denominator to 1 so that our program doesn't fail so it won't crash and what we'll do is we'll do num1 divided by num2 So when we run this program, num2 is 0 by default, so it should throw the value 20. And since x is equal to 20, it will say error 20, you cannot divide by 0. We will change the denominator to 1. It will change the denominator to 1, and then it will continue with, uh, with the rest of the program as we are to set it, as we set it. 
So we just gotta compile this and run this just to show you that I'm not in the lab. So as you can see it says error 20 you cannot divide by 0 we will change the denominator to 1 and then 2 divided by 1 is going to be equal to 2 so uh, that's what you get. So uh, and I, I know a lot of you are going to be saying yeah we can do the we can get the same effect using if statements and you can but the try the exceptions cannot fail and because they cannot fail they are the best thing to use when you are modifying critical things or whenever you're modifying anything in your program where you don't expect it to fail so if you're working if if you're working in a program and it heavily re relies on the file stream but for some reason uh, it doesn't load the file properly right you'll want to use an exception to handle it properly to either properly let the user know it can't find the file know there's an error or something like that but we use an exception in that situation because we don't expect it to fail but if it does fail then it affects the whole program so we need to know a proper way to handle it and that's when we use exceptions and I will be providing a link in the description below uh, to better explain why we need them and you can also search Google as well so anyways that's it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye